morning, friends. As we gather today, we continue our prayers promoting equality in, in the world and in our nation as a result of the circumstances of the last week. Today, we offer a prayer for an end to xenophobia. Let's pray together. Dear God, as we pray this day, we pray for an end to xenophobia, for an end to the senseless fear of foreigners or migrants. It's hard for us to understand how differences somehow become fear. We know that the things that make us different are the things that make us special, yet we live in a nation where ethnocentrism often leads to suspicion and fear and ultimately hate. You have taught us to love one another, but we have failed. Friends, as we pray today, I invite you to think of how you can be an agent of love and a contributor to the end of the fear of others who are different from us and help us realize we are different from them, but all are equal in the eyes of God. Father, as we continue in prayer, we say thank you for all that we have received, but we pray that you will guide each of our hearts and minds to realize that the way we or others look or speak or where our parents come from is not a basis for hate. The majority of us, other than the families of the indigenous people of this country, are from the families of immigrants. We are, who are we? To judge others. We pray for all who seek opportunity and safety and hope for their families. Help us to love, not hate our neighbors. Amen. Friends, the reading today comes from 1 Corinthians, from the 14th chapter, verses 21 through 31. In the law it is written, by people of strange tongues and by the lips of foreigners, I will speak to this people yet even they will not listen to me, says the Lord. Tongues, then, are a sign not for believers, but for unbelievers, while prophecy is not for unbelievers, but for believers. If therefore the whole church comes together and all speak in tongues and outsiders or unbelievers enter, will they not say that you are out of your mind? But if all prophecy and unbeliever or outsider who enters is reproved by all and called to account by all. After the secrets of the unbeliever's hearts are disclosed, that person will bow down before God and worship him, declaring, God is really among you. What should be done then, my friends? When you come together, each one has a hymn, a lesson, a revelation, a tongue or an interpretation, let all things be done for building up. If anyone speaks in a tongue, let there be only two, or at most three, and each in turn, and let one interpret. But if there is no one to interpret, let them be silent in church and speak to themselves and to God. Let two or three prophets speak, and let the others weigh what is said. If a revelation is made to someone else sitting nearby, let the first person be silent, for you all prophesy one by one, so that all may learn and all be encouraged. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. <laughs> 